Hi, in this video we'll look at logarithm problems in the AMC. Log problems don't appear in the AMC 10, and they only appear in about one question in the AMC 12. But the number of concepts to master to solve these problems is rather small, so it's worth brushing up on this topic, and we'll do that in this video. So let's start with the basic definition of the log function from Algebra 2. And from that, we know that for an exponential function b to the x equals y, we can define the inverse function log to the base b of y is equal to x. And we have to realize again that this is a definition, so it goes both ways. So the left uh, condition implies the right condition, and the right condition also implies the left condition. Now we have to be careful to stay with uh, positive numbers for b and y, and to avoid any base of 1. So essentially we have that uh, b and y are greater than 0, and that b is not equal to 1. Now from Algebra 2, we also know that this definition quickly leads to these basic relationships for transforming multiplication-like operations into addition-like operations. And that's the primary reason the log function is used in the first place. Now the second relationship is sometimes used to transform a geometric sequence into an arithmetic sequence. So that's something to look out for. Another AMC problem angle stems from the basic definition that constructs the log function to be the inverse of the exponential function. So for example, in the base of e, we have that uh, e to the natural log of x is equal to x, and also that natural log of e to the x is equal to x. And another more complicated example is, say, e to the 2 natural log of x. We can bring the 2 inside the natural logarithm using this third relationship. And now we have the e to the natural log, and we know what to do with that. That just brings x squared down. So this is a very handy tool to use for working with uh, natural logarithms. Now the last AMC problem angle I want to mention are the rules for changing the bases of logarithms. And the most general rule is that uh, log to the base x of y is equal to log to the base b of y over log to the base b of x. And that's for any b greater than 0 and not equal to 1. Now the real power of this formula comes from be able, being able to choose b arbitrarily to further the problem solution. Now one such choice is to let b equal y, which makes this top term equal to 1. And from that we know that log to the base x of y is equal to now 1 divided by log to the base y of x. And this is a very handy relationship for flipping the log bases. Now these last formulae are used frequently in log problems, and you'll see that in the example problem video from the 2015 AMC 12. So with that, please check out the description section for links to the AMC log review text, along with uh, example problems and solutions. And I'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye.